Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today we are taking a look at the new 4 day rotational challenge banner to get those stat increasing pots that we all want so much. Although they're not the good ones yet, we're next one should be attack. This one is MP. You are looking at MP rewards. So if there's that unit you want just more MP on, well, this is basically where you are going to get it. And this boss is annoying to say the least because not only is it this time ice damage, but it's ice magic damage only. That's right, you can't use ice physical damage. It will do nothing. This boss is physical resistant because these have to be as annoying as possible. The last time it was thunder resistance. This time it's ice resistance. How much you want to bet the next one's going to be fire or is Alum just going to screw with all of us and make it water? Whatever. Uh, the the thing is, is that this is these trials are proving that Alum is not really putting the most effort into thinking about them, so we shouldn't necessarily really care that much about it. Let's just get through it. And there are a couple things to note about this annoying boss. One, you may want to bring a physical tank to it, because if this fight does go on prolonged, she has some AoE attacks that are kind of annoying, and by kind of annoying, I mean really annoying. If you don't have debuffs on her, she can dish out at least some damage. You know, not the most insane amount of damage, but still a fair high amount of damage. So Medina is particularly good. Of course, Medina is an EX point unit, so not everybody has that. But Ultima is the unit that I have brought as well, as you can see. We're going to take her down a fair bit. But she, if you're just dealing one ice spell from even a 2400 uh, Ultima, it can take a while to chip down this damage. We just brought Axtar to look pretty, basically. As you can see, that damage isn't too high, but later she does get an AoE sweep ability. Which, you know, may just ruin your day. What also will ruin your day is the fact that if you take a look here... Yep, that's right. She puts Reflect on herself because this isn't annoying enough. So if you don't have anybody with an Ice Magic ability, this that is not like actual magic that can be reflected, this fight can be pretty annoying. Thankfully, we have Lid here to allow us, but you're going to basically have to dispel her what seeming like every turn because as far as I can tell, it, whether it's an HP thing or not, she does cast Reflect on her, at least she did for me, multiple times. So let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. And points to you if you got that reference from an awesome movie. That's right, it's a reference. So it's not actually bad language, it's just a reference. And that makes it okay. The world's a weird place. Anyway, as you can see, we cleared it. We will get our series of small MP pots. No middle one this time. Okay. All right. But yes, uh, not exactly the most difficult, but also a little bit tricky again. Chances are next time we'll see fire, and who knows? Uh, well, it seems to be focusing more towards... Uh, difficulty to try and do specific elements under specific conditions and then just having some minor attacks that are not super dangerous so long as you keep them debuffed and potentially have some kind of protection AoE tank on them. That's basically what you need. So yeah, pretty standard, pretty easy. And the only other thing to mention in this video is the next live stream for the JP side will be on October 8th which is a Monday, next Monday as a matter of fact, and that will be at 8 p.m. Japanese Standard Time. And yes, I hope you'll join me for that. If it, we are getting an exciting new CG unit, it will be announced there. I'm not entirely convinced. I think the next CG unit will probably be at the end of the month. Of course, there is the possibility that we will see a mid-month raid again. Uh, if you consider the fact that on the 23rd or the 22nd, we're supposed to get a basically a one-day raid, it's sometime after the live stream, we get a 24-hour raid of, that is something, I guess, kind of special. It would make sense that we're going to have our raid now as opposed to later, but 
We'll find out on the 8th of October. So I hope you'll join me for that on Twitch as I will be restreaming it. And yeah, that's basically about it. So that's all for now. And till then, good luck beating the new challenge rotational boss. And remember, the next one in a few days will be attack. That's right, time to raise Axstar even higher. See you next time.